Hello everybody, my name is that Joe Guy and welcome back to Dark Souls. Here are up here with our feathered friend. We haven't really seen in a while. He's always been here though. Up top, the one who carried us away from the undead asylum. Way back in the beginning. Before before I was even clothed. Before I'd found anything. <laughs> Except a stupid old bit of stick to defend myself with. We had Sir Crow up here. And now we're going to go say hi to him again. Something I want to do today and we require his aid in order to do so. Whoop. But before I do, I mean... Do I want to speak to anybody else around here? I don't think anybody else has got much else to say. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, yep. I know, dude. Why? No. No. I see. Yeah. Hey, do it. Why? No. Okay, no. I see. Nanny, what did you forget? We've been through this many times. Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go alone. I won't. Haven't done much since the last session. You'll notice I spent my souls. I upgraded my shield a little bit. It's now a bit more stable and a bit more durable. Although, honestly, the shield does me really well. I'm not entirely sure what benefits giving the uh, upgrading the shield kind of gets me. Like, for my how much bang for my buck exactly. But I figure it's worth doing regardless. Hey, big hat. Hello there. Glad to see you alive. Hmm. You gonna maybe say some more words to me? I know I can't buy anything off you, but still. Hello. Aw, man. Hey. Oh, hello. I appreciate that will... Ugh. Have you spoken to Master Lane? Yes. He in a yes. And he has the nerve to go risk... Okay, cool. Um. Have you spoken to Master... No, nobody has anything new to say. Nobody's interesting. Companions from Dragon Age, you are not. How about Petrus of Thurland? The Petrus drenched in sin. Hello. Oh, I'm... So um, what miracles do you have left? No, I think I bought all your miracles, friend. Hmm. Um, yeah, okay. So, doesn't look like anybody else here has much interesting to say. We still don't know where our crestfallen warrior friend went, left, went to when he left, when he got sick of it here. But we don't really need to. Let's proceed to the, um, to where we're going. Now, it's not such an easy way to get up there. Uh, we could go right up to the bird by just going up that ledge, but that won't do what we are, what we need it to. It's actually rather strange what we need to do. This may be the we most weirdly specific bit of, like, uh, remembrance I, I, well, remember from my previous Dark Souls incursion. Oh, no, it's not up here, is it? I need, uh... Hmm. What I need to do is go in here Go on the lift. Actually, there's something I want to do just whilst I'm on the lift as well. This lift is heading me up, uh, taking me up to the Undead Parish anyway. I need to visit the uh, Sin Forgiver. Something you want to do very quickly. There we go. I figure um, a certain time has come for me. The time, the time is to always forget about the enemies that are up here. They're so beneath my notice now. I definitely want to use the pyromancy for this upcoming bit. I was going to be careful and try to be clever at this, but will work occasionally. Yeah, just going to be careful as well. Yeah, this is more like it. There we go. Wasn't clever, wasn't flash. Used up all that pyromancy, but it's worth it. Sin forgiver, did I say sin maker? No, I don't think I did. Did I? That was stupid if I did. I meant the forgiver, the partner, that's it. I knew none of that sounded right. <laughs> the partner, Oswald. Up here on top. I have now been a chaos servant for a long time, but I've done primarily what I wish to with uh, with my covenant down there. Hmm. Do you know, thinking about it, is that all I want to do with the covenant? Let's see. You sell pyromancies, but I don't think I need to be part of a covenant to do that. 
I got that pyromancy. You know, I'm gonna look this up. Just, I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> Sorry. I wanna be sure because I spent a lot of humanity getting that, so. Uh, but yeah, back with the animal. Yep, no, that seems absolutely fine. Um, we've got all the benefits from the Chaos Covenant that we can, including the pyromancy and opening the shortcut to Lost Isolith and doing the business I need to do in there. The reasons for which I appreciate I have not given either way. The shortcut will stay open, even if I was to abandon the Covenant now, which is what I'm going to do. It was... Hmm. Greetings. Well, I did not expect to find you. I'm not hollow. I'm just... I have a bad face. Need to abandon the Covenant. Doing like this, I believe, means that I do so without sin. Huh? I have not sinned. Yeah, there we go. Has yeah. We're not drenched with sin. It's just, that's all you say. As I say, though, I do want to spend a bit more time being human. Okay. Curse item. No, 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 no. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, you sell homeward bones too. No art welcome any time. It is only human to commit a sin. <laughs> Indeed. I was happy to be part of the Chaos Covenant to serve my purposes, but I'm also kind of glad that I was able to offer the the uh, fair lady, Quailan or whatever the, her name actually is, Able to offer her some humanity and ease her pain. I don't really know what she's doing down there. I don't know if what she's doing is good, but she was in pain and she seems like a a good person who's suffering a lot, and I was glad to alleviate a little bit of that, even if it was only a little bit. So yeah, we did that. Hey guys. Bye guys. Would have been an excellent exit if I walked into a bench. I hope this <laughs> If only this was real life, I would have stripped over the bench, it would have been hilarious. Come on, I want I feel like parrying something. I wanna I wanna work out the kinks here. Damn. Okay, come on, come on. Yes. Not get the riposte in there, unfortunately. Still, I live. Right. I'm actually going to um head back to the bonfire. I might as well do this with my full strength. And supplies. Big tower up there. I don't think I've ever truly clocked how large that is. But anyway, yes, very quickly back. Zip. Zip. Zip it. Is he gonna fucking sleep again? <laughs> so lazy. Still, he does wake up by himself eventually. There we go. Nice. I don't really want to reinforce anything, do I? No, no, nothing going. That's cool. back and the lift again and this is where we would have been 10 minutes ago had I not decided to go ban the Covenant I just want a clean slate is all I don't want to get sin and I don't really want to wrong the Chaos Covenant because they've done me all right they're kind of weird down there and spidery and it's all a bit sinister but it's friendly enough Whoop. this is what we're intending from here on out we got to be kind of careful this game does not lend itself well to platforming I just need to whoop. Oh god, do you see what I mean? It's just every time you do something like this, it's as if you're not meant to be exactly case in point. Whoop. Don't you fucking dare! Okay, good, there was a ledge. <laughs> but we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh there's places to go, people to see. And this is the tall tower. Very nice. Not much to see up here, just a kind of secret area. Crooking of a crow. Now we can go on there. And you know, I believe I have been on there because I'm I think there's an item there. Uh what is that place there? What is that light? And do I want to investigate it? You know what I do? It's pretty easy to get back there. No for a fact probably done it before, but uh-huh. It's just kind of that. Okay. <laughs> so there's no like item. I was really hoping there would be an item that was shining through there, but it's it's not. Ugh. Side effect heavy armor. No, can't do much else. However, there's no way I can trick it into 
No, I don't think so. Still, huh? worth a go just to do this. There we go. Fast pace back. Up we go. Up. More awkward from that lift. So just bypass the tricky bits with a bit of a roll. Being heavier. Yeah, ironically being heavier for the platforming sections actually might make it a bit easier on you. Ooh, just don't panic is all, jeez. Okay, up, up. Okay, what's on there? Uh, not much of anything. Oh, that's just where I was. Right. So here we are on top. <laughs> a nest. The one and only crow friend's nest. So let's go visit with the kids, shall we? Come on, nice eggs here. Because why wouldn't I curl up like a ball? And now we play the waiting game for the completely inevitable consequences. What? You're not sure what's going to happen? What else could possibly be happening with me like this? What could I possibly be hoping to achieve? What? You weren't expecting that? <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> it's just slightly adventure gamey. Man, it's kind of weird to be back here. Look at me now, huh? How far have I come? I was naked the last time I was here. Or functionally so. Now we've got... Uh, things to do back here. But I really just want to explore it, honestly. I mean, I, there's nothing specific I want. Not really. It's just... I reckon it can be handled. I reckon it could be fun. And I reckon I can do it. I appreciate that last point. is very similar to the first point, but screw you. Uh -huh. It's the first thing I kind of want to have a look at. Urgh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Ugh. No option to curl up like a ball this time. Hmm. In fact, no option to do anything. Okay. I thought there would be, but there's not. Maybe that's for later. I won't spoil it for now. So let's have a proper explore. Maybe we can get to some of the places that, yeah. Maybe we can get to some of the places where we, you know, couldn't go before. And cover some of the secrets of this mysterious place. Where the undead are corralled. This is in the north of the land. Oh. One of the things we definitely want to do first is go and get our bonfire, which we remember just being down here. I don't want to have to go through that again. It would be irritating. Uh, yeah. So. Where do we want to go first? I guess we don't really have anywhere in mind. Yeah, buddy? And... Whoop! Uh oh Oh, balls. Hmm. Something strange about this floor, isn't it? Oh, yes. Remember, there's something here. Hmm. Something underneath our feet. It's all the messages from here. Oh god. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> hey, who likes a boss fight at the start of the session? Come on. I actually have full health for this. Okay. 
Get in there. Because remember this from dealing with the Asylum Demon. Oh, balls. It's that spell. So you did that too close a range, and I don't like that. Oh, balls. Woo! Okay, I was hoping I'd have enough time there, but I didn't. Just double chug it. You just have to have tank it. There we go. Okay, this guy is made of bullshit. I'm having to F this every other second. There's no point in blocking at least. Oh, good, I love that attack. Right, get in there. We remember how to do this. Just hold your form. Hold your form, goddammit. Get away from him. Get back in there. Because the guy bleeds. And we can take advantage of that. Boy, I love it when they go up and down like that. It's very easy for me. I say easy. This is actually kind of tough. Come on, you are so nearly dead. You can get in there very easily with a fuck you. <laughs> uh, awesome. First try. Tough bastard. What gets people off him with this fight in particular? And uh, just for the record, I've never managed to beat him before because you fall down, you panic, those attacks he has are fucking awesome. No, sorry, the attacks he has are bullshit. <laughs> that, those area of effect things can really catch you in an environment where you're not familiar with. And I'm not familiar with this environment. All I did was, I knew from my previous fight with the, uh, with the, um, the first demon, I think was his name. The first demon? I think so. No, it was like the Fire Sage or something like that. Fire Sage Demon. I knew that they had the same moveset, and therefore I kind of like knew what form I wanted to take for the fights. What I didn't know was the environment, and I didn't know his strength. Like, his stats may be different. I think he may have even been a little... No, I think... I think differences between their stats were kind of negligible. So it was the same fight, slightly different powers, a lot less fire in a different location, and because I've done it before, I survived. I wasn't expecting to. I was actually expecting to have to like come back to this at the end of the session because they kind of fire upon you when you're at half health. Half health and you die. You die like a bitch. So, there's nothing down here clearly, but we did get a Titanite Slab. One of the legendary. Legendary slabs were the domain of the gods. Reinforces standard weapons to plus 15 and crystal or lightning weapons to plus five. Heirlooms of a nameless black deity who forged the weapons of the other gods. Weapons forged with this slab became, become rare legendary weapons. Love that we have one of these right now. You can break it down with the uh, King Seeker Framp, so you can break it down into sort of like, like lots of smaller slabs, I don't know how many exactly, but they're finite in the game. So we're definitely gonna hold on to as many as them as we can get. I shouldn't need too many. I think it's only like the 14 to 15 level that you need to actually have to like, you know, on the katana I should say. I'll, I'll need it for my final level. So yeah, back into, wow, almost where we started. Is that where I started over there? There's a form there. Is that what I think it is? It is. Okay, okay. It'd be bad to die here after all this. Alright, come on. The camera angle's not really helping me here. Ow. I was not expecting the fourth attack for some reason. Ow. Yes. Down you go, son. Red Titanite chunk? Man, Titanite's abounds. What is this? Fire weapons. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. The race to locate the legendary slabs has begun, but could they be mere myth? Not for us. What is that? There's rat there and bugs. Now, something I completely neglected in the last session, plenty, plenty of the... Interesting. Plenty of the, um, the tombs had bugs, like, running in, ri in rivulets from all over the place. Huh. I notice here that a uh, hollow has gone. Now, it's possible he's just huddled in his corner, but could he have been collected for something? They are here for a reason, after all. I can't get in there, either. And this was my old cell. It's like somebody may have come in here after I died. Or possibly this is just the pulled up corpse of the corpse that was dumped down here ages before. There's bugs in here too. 
A peculiar doll? What is that? Oh, it's not amongst here. Keys? Sometimes? Yes. A strange doll and a strange dress. There once was an abomination who had no place in this world. She clutched this doll tightly and eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. Interesting. I've, I have no idea. I don't know what that would be doing here either. Who knows? Let's pass out. Pass the tutorials that remain. And we can heal ourselves up as well. Whoops. I don't feel equipped. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> Excellent. Hmm. Okay. You know, there was a, a silver knight there or a black knight. It kind of is hard to tell. There, wandered that direction. Possibly, maybe that was the one that brought the peculiar doll there. It guarded my old cell, perhaps simply for the reason that I'd broken out of that cell, and therefore whatever was in that cell needed constant guarding. I hear something stepping in water. That. That's strange. I saw something move up there too. What is this? Hello? What is that? Something in here perhaps. Oh. Oh god, it's you. Hi. So you went whole after all, huh? Ah, don't have it equipped. Ow. Okay, come on. Perhaps be a piece that last. Sorry, you went hollow. Crest shield. Nice. Let's have a look at it. 62. It's pretty light. 62. Uh, crest shield. Stability. More magic. Less fire, lightning, and stability, though. Uh huh. Oh, it's enchanted. That's nice. Hmm. You know, I heard him kill himself. He stabbed himself when we left. I presume that was to prevent him from going hollow, but it looks like he turned anyway. It's kind of a shame. Okay, let's um, let's think about this. I don't want to enter this way. I want to kind of approach this area as I did before. So let's just run the gamut of this place. I don't think there's like any other like uh, doors or anything like that I need to worry about. Maybe some secrets like here. No, worth a shot. I just, I just like knock every suspicious looking wall. Speaking of actually, I need to make sure to maintain my equipment. It's suffering a little. You can't have that. But yeah, after defeating the stray demon, I don't think there's too much else to do around. Oh, hi guys. So this may not take too long. But I still would like to get a good chunk of Dark Souls in because it's been a long time since I played it. In fact, some of you may have thought the series was abandoned, and I wouldn't blame you. With my injury, and with Dark Souls facing facts here being one of the less popular series of mine, sometimes it's hard to motivate myself to prioritize, you know, the to, to spread the limited amount of editing I am able to get done with my injury allocating some to Dark Souls. It's hard for me to justify that, except for the fact that I love Dark Souls, and I love doing this series. And I really want to finish Dark Souls. So whenever I'm brought back to it, it's because of that. Nice. And it's not like nobody enjoys it. There are people out there that watch this series, and I thank you. Very much appreciate it, everyone, but... And, you know what, thank you even more, because if you didn't watch this series, if nobody watched this series... I probably just wouldn't bother, which would be a shame. Nice, nice, love it. Uh -huh. Okay, well that's just kind of connected the dots already, hasn't it? That was quick. And hey, I've got 27,000 souls. Just a couple more and I can level up. A couple more, a couple thousand more. 
But there's gotta be more to see here, right? Yes, I remember now. Now, is there a secret wall here now? Because this looks suspicious last time. De nada. Also nada? De nada. So, what I'm seeing a lack of is uh, player messages. Damn. Gotta be a way to get that. And this concerns me. I mean, not many people come back to the Undead Asylum, and I remember you. Whoop. There you go. Not many people come back here, so it could be that reason, but I really do hope I'm still connected to online. It'd be fine if I wasn't. Like, I don't want, I don't really want to, like, take people in and help, to help me defeat bosses or anything, but there are certain elements of the online play which I quite like, and I would be sad to be deprived of. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there's two of you now, is there? Ow. Oh, shield guy. Cautious guy. Shield guy. Dead guy. Hi, dead guy. So, can I get in here now? Ow. Yes, yes I can. When did I get that key? Please still have it. Uh, yeah, here it is. Um, oh, yes, that was the first clue, wasn't it? So we found that somewhere in Lordran, but I don't know, I don't know where. But let's find out what this ring, uh, this, uh, let's find out what this thing is. It's a rusted iron ring. Okay, I think my subconscious may have slipped in there. Did you hear me say ring? <laughs> I swear, I I didn't I I've got this ring before, but I didn't remember it was a ring until literally I said that. I think there's something in there, isn't it? <laughs> uh, the iron ring was used to shackle the guilty. It is terribly rusted and faintly stained with blood. Those who find this strange ring to their liking will be pleased to find it easier to gain footing on poor ground such as swamps. Oh, that's interesting and handy. Uh, and I believe that's kind of it for this place. Oh balls! I don't want to take that drop too lightly. Yeah, we've come back to this place and in no time at all we've conquered it. Just shows how far we've come, I reckon. Let's drop down. Whoop, come on now. Yeah, pain. Sorry, what? <laughs> oh, well, so it's these guys in the butt. Oofed. I missed using this a lot in the last session. Love it. Love me sword. I've said it before, I definitely get attached to weapons. Can you do anything with this now? Hmm. Nothing. Okay, um, disclosure then. There's meant to be an option which says talk here. You're meant to be able to talk to something, but I can't. I don't have the option. I don't know why. Not sure. I have an idea though, and I don't want to. I don't want to leave this area without finding out. So I am going to go back to the bonfire here. Use the bonfire here, and I will be back with you in just a moment. Let's try this now. Oh fuck! You, you. Give me warm. Give me soft. <laughs> Hello? Now, yeah, this is a strange thing in the game. Um, somebody called a... Well, uh, there's no official name for it, but the the fans have dubbed him Snuggly. <laughs> so let's dump something from here. Uh, uh, just any old thing. Let's try, um... I'm gonna give him warm, give him soft. We're not gonna give him either. Uh, what I want to do is give him some dung pie. Let's just give him one. So we dump that here. And, uh, what we do, because we're lazy, is we quit the game. Back with you in a You! You! Give me warm. Give me soft. Okay, let's see this now. <laughs> see, 
Now you drop things for this person, this thing, this unhatched chick. I suppose why they want warm and soft. It's a it's a chick that's never hatched because it's never been. It's never been a what do they call it? Um, late, laid on, fucking raised, whatever, whatever the hell they call it when chickens sit on eggs to make them warm and soft to let them hatch, but. That's never happened to them, and for some reason, I don't know why, dropping items makes them exchange items for you. In that case, we got a demon titanite from dropping a dung pie. Quite often, the exchanges are equally unequivalent. <laughs> so, yeah. That's strange. And I will be making use of Snuggly the Crow over there, uh, if I feel the need to. There's like a big, you know, a big list of stuff which you get from training him. I, I don't really feel the need to to go through that myself. I'll just look it up online. Magic of the internet, guys. Let's crawl up like a ball and get collected. We could warp back, but I kind of want to leave in style. Thank you, Mr. Crow. You should take care of your child more. Probably a different crow. It may well be a different crow because, um... That big crow rules the roost here. Some birds can be fairly territorial when it comes to their nests. Maybe the reasons that Snuggly over there is getting no affection from parents, no warm, no soft, is because our big crow, big crow buddy, is driving him out. Anywho, maybe I should have warped back. It means I wouldn't have to deal with this here. Whoop. There's no biggie. You can just head down. Aloo. Come on now. Ooh. Hi, Petrus. What an entrance, huh? 